Well, it's definitely going to be hot for our Father's Day, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. It's going to be hot. We're going to feel close to 100 degrees, and we will actually have temperatures in those triple digits for Monday and Tuesday, around 100 to 101. And then those feels like temperatures are really going up as we start off next week. We're going to see that humidity building back in, so you'll feel close to 115 on Monday and Tuesday. We will likely see excessive heat warnings issued for parts of the area, and then we'll start to see those temperatures cooling off just a little bit towards the end of the week. But this morning, we're starting off with some thunderstorms in parts of northeast North Texas. This is where we were telling you about yesterday that we could have a couple of thunderstorms as we start off our morning. That's what we're seeing here on first alert radar for Red River County. That still runs until about the next 25 minutes, but we're already starting to see that cell pushing down to the south right along I-30 there. You're going to see that visibility dropping off with the heavy downpours and then a lot of lightning headed into the Mount Vernon area, Picton. This will continue to track southeast. So, Winsboro, Newsom, and to Pittsburgh, you guys are going to hear those rumbles of thunder in about the next 15 minutes. But around the Metroplex, things are quiet. And then we're just waking up to partly cloudy skies. We're sitting at 72 degrees with winds out of the northeast. We do have a weak front that's going to be drying in some slightly drier air. It's not going to cool our temperatures off at all, but it will at least lower those feels like temperatures a few degrees today. So by noon, we're at 87 degrees for our Father's Day, and then we'll top out around 96 by 5. 5 p.m., but we still have a heat advisory in effect until 8 p.m. today for Collin County into Dallas and into Tarrant County. And then even that excessive heat warning for our areas down to the southeast. So I wanted to show you the dew points because we can see that drier air moving in as we get into this afternoon with dew points dropping into the 50s and 60s. So that's why it's not going to feel quite as sticky as yesterday. But then by Monday afternoon, we are seeing that humidity surging back to the north, and that's going to really push those heat index values close to 115. This is what it looks like on Monday around 4 to 5 p.m. And then heading into our Tuesday, we're still going to be feeling close to that 115 mark in the afternoon. So you definitely need to take precautions to stay safe in that heat. Then we do have low rain chances Wednesday night and Thursday night. We'll be watching to see if some complexes moving through Oklahoma might bring us some storms in North Texas, Robbie.